From that dreadful day, they threw a cordon round the city. And there the city lay, being made safe, rotting and rattling in the aftershocks. Well, an argument ensued between the constructors and the destructors and their insurance companies and the authorities. The initial cordon was established in September of 2010. Parts of the cordon, or the fences as such, were still around then. In February 2011, the cordon, as we know it, was put up by Civil Defence, really big cordon around most of the four avs in Christchurch. So it was about safety. Um, some people may have thought it was about security, but mainly it was about safety. Establishing an area of the city where people knew that inside that fence line there were significant hazards and the civil defence controller and the police and the NZDF staff were there to help people understand where the safe line was and to manage access in and out of that for the people that needed to be in there to conduct safety inspections and other technical inspections in the city so we could get a good appreciation of what the hazards were. Smith, Robinson Law don't own the building, but surely we can get in and get out our computers and legal files. You've got to get written permission from the owners. The owners speak Mandarin. If a finance company in Taiwan can be assumed to be, in fact, an actual person. Now, I have spent hours trying to find someone to talk to. People had to understand that there had to be a clear-cut policy. You had a lot of businesses and that they were open and could have been prone to looting or anything else like that. So uh, those sort of measures had to be across the board. It met some really interesting people, dealt with some um, funny and unusual requests, found some interesting things in buildings that people probably didn't expect us to find. It was very, very frustrating and very sad for a lot of people. And, um, yeah, it was, yeah, sorry. There was one big guy, big, I think he might have been Australian, they tell me, I'm not sure. Walked out of the cordon one night past the soldiers, and the soldiers confronted him and said, hey, look, you know, you shouldn't be in here. And he said, that's, I know, but I had to go and get my son. And the soldier said to him, what do you mean, you're by yourself? And he pulled out an urn and his son's ashes were in it. And his son's ashes were in a hotel room in the city. And he travelled everywhere with them. And he broke into the cordon, got the ashes of his son and walked out past the soldiers. The soldiers confronted him, he told them their story and the soldiers said to him, no, you can go. You went in to get that? Yeah, that's what I have to go and get. It's my business deal. Okay. Just okay. please. Okay. Just, yeah. I have already got it now. Okay, please. This point. Thank you. you keep going. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you. No, no. So, thank you. Damn it. <laughs> you can't be upset at a, at a person like that. It's, um, it's understandable. <laughs> 